The Forklift, The Dog, and The Dance Troupe, A Surreal Story. Hello, fellow mystery lovers. Today's story is going to take you on a strange and winding journey. It's a story full of unexpected turns, bizarre characters, and an outcome that might leave you scratching your head. At the heart of it all, a dog, a forklift truck, and a dance troupe. How these three things come together is a mystery in itself. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the inexplicable events of that fateful day. The set up, a quiet morning. It was a crisp Tuesday morning in a small, seemingly normal town, and the sun was just beginning to warm up the streets. In an old, half-abandoned warehouse on the edge of town, a group of workers were quietly going about their business. They were unloading supplies for an upcoming event at the community hall. Nothing too exciting, just another day of lifting boxes and setting up. One worker, a gruff man named Hank, was operating a forklift truck. He'd been at the job for years and knew that forklift like the back of his hand. The other workers paid him little attention as they went about their tasks. It was all routine, except for one peculiar thing. In the far corner of the warehouse, there was a small, scruffy dog. Now, this dog wasn't just any dog. It was the kind of dog you'd expect to see following someone around town, getting into mischief, but never causing real trouble. His name was Frank. Frank had wandered into the warehouse that morning, probably looking for a warm place to nap. But Frank wasn't napping. No, Frank had taken a keen interest in the forklift truck. It was almost as if the sound of the engine, the motion of the machine, had captivated him. He would trot over to the truck every time Hank moved it, barking excitedly, chasing the truck as it slowly rolled across the floor. Hank laughed it off, but there was something oddly mesmerizing about the way the dog reacted. The dance troupe arrives. Now, this is where things start to get strange. You see, the warehouse was also being used that day by a local dance troupe. They were rehearsing for an upcoming performance, and their practice space just so happened to be adjacent to the warehouse where the workers were unloading supplies. The troupe was preparing for a highly anticipated performance that evening, and they were a little on edge, making sure every move was perfect. The troupe was led by a woman named Sylvia. Sylvia was a perfectionist. Every dance move had to be flawless, every step executed precisely. She had spent months choreographing the performance, and today was the final rehearsal before showtime. She was so focused on the intricate steps of their routine that she hardly noticed the forklift truck and the dog wandering around in the background. The troupe had been practicing for hours when Sylvia decided they needed a break. She called for everyone to pause and take a breather. Just as the dancers began stretching and chatting, the warehouse workers, who were finishing up their unloading, decided it was time to pack up the forklift and head out for lunch. Here's where it gets odd. As the forklift engine revved to life, Frank the dog, who had been curiously watching from the sidelines, suddenly broke into a run. He darted directly toward the moving forklift, his little legs pumping furiously. Hank, who was driving the truck, didn't see Frank until the last second. He slammed on the brakes, but it was too late. Frank leaped into the air, his paws outstretched, and landed squarely in the forklift's small cargo bucket. Now, this is where the story takes an even weirder turn. Instead of scrambling out, Frank just sat there. He didn't bark. He didn't move. He looked up at Hank, then at the rest of the workers, and waited. Hank was stunned, unsure of what to do. He stood there for a moment, mouth agape, as Frank sat peacefully in the forklift bucket. The rest of the workers turned to look confused. But Sylvia and her dance troupe, they were watching too, perhaps more intently than the others. The dance begins. Sylvia, who had been pacing around the studio, suddenly stopped in her tracks. Something about the sight of Frank sitting there, perfectly still, in that forklift bucket, seemed to spark something in her. Without a word, she called out to her dancers. Everyone get into position. The troupe, though initially confused, obediently lined up. It wasn't clear why Sylvia had given the command, but somehow it felt right. As Sylvia clapped her hands, the music started, a slow, haunting melody that echoed through the warehouse. The dancers, each dressed in flowing costumes, began to move. And here's the thing. Their movements were not what they had practiced. Instead of the synchronized steps they had rehearsed for weeks, they began to dance in unison with the forklift and Frank. 
The dogs, still sitting calmly in the bucket, seemed to almost direct their movements. Every time the forklift moved, the dancers twirled or leaped in time with it. Every time Hank made a subtle turn or shift, the troop followed, their arms and bodies twisting with unnatural grace. At first, the workers looked on, unsure of what was happening. Then, as the dance progressed, it became clear. This wasn't just some random choreography. It was a performance inspired by the movements of the forklift and the dog. Frank, for reasons no one could explain, had become the centerpiece of the performance. The mystery deepens. As the dancers moved in perfect harmony with Frank and the forklift, something strange began to happen. The air in the warehouse felt heavier. The tempo of the music seemed to change, speeding up and slowing down with no clear pattern. The workers who had been idly watching suddenly found themselves inexplicably drawn into the performance. They couldn't look away. They had no control over their bodies. Slowly, they started moving. Two, one by one, they joined the dance. First, it was just one worker tapping his foot. Then another, who raised her hands, following the dancer's lead. It didn't take long before all the workers were in motion, each one caught in the surreal flow of the dance, all moving in perfect synchronization with Frank, the forklift, and the troop. What was happening? Was it some kind of trance? A collective hallucination? No one could explain it. But the warehouse was now filled with the sound of music, the hum of the forklift, and the rhythmic movements of people and animals alike. The end of the dance. The performance lasted for what felt like hours, but when the music stopped, the trance was broken. The workers slowly stopped moving, the dancer stood still, and the forklift, with Frank still perched in its bucket, came to a halt. Everyone stood there, panting, as if waking from a dream. Sylvia, her face pale and expressionless, slowly approached the forklift. She reached down and gently lifted Frank out of the bucket. The dog gave a soft bark as though satisfied with the performance, and wandered off toward the exit. No one spoke. The room was silent except for the sound of Frank's little paws on the concrete floor. The workers slowly started to gather their things and leave, almost as if nothing unusual had just taken place. But in that moment, the question remained, what exactly had just happened? To this day, no one knows. The event has remained a bizarre, unexplainable mystery. A moment frozen in time that will never make sense to anyone who wasn't there. But one thing's for certain. That day, the forklift, the dog, and the dance troupe created something none of them could ever forget.